you. So I'm ready to get dirty. And after my mess, I'm gonna clean up. But first, we're gonna start with our second step of our basic painting tutorial. So it's really basic, basic. It's very simple that out from it, you will learn and very versatile. And the first step really is to not forget the apron. So you won't mess up your outfit. Really? So here we go. The apron, your savior right hi everyone so I'm finally have made and the video and post the video for my second step on our painting tutorial the basic uh, for our beginners for acrylic painting and it, well I have some challenges I have the internet that, which I'm shopping for an internet so that I can just um, shoot and post the videos and then number two is setting up <laughs> my um, video creation where in the lightings the, and then the posting it's quite a challenge there's a lot of work to do in it but i i enjoy it i love it so here i am but anyhow um i also waited if you have already secured or gotten your painting supplies so that's what I was waiting for um, just a reminder for this introduction it's not really to be perfect because we can't be perfect and we all are different from each other so we also have unique approach to it and even the artists that are, are professionals will not you know fight us or tell us that we're doing something wrong because there are different techniques that we have discovered and so each artist are different that's why they have a different style and things like that so and then another reminder before um, we finish the videos if you enjoy these videos please subscribe and let your other friends know about this hit share and like and um, click the bell icon so that you will be notified if there is a new video and also um, I would like to hear from you so please comment below write down what your thoughts are and so that I can um, do something about it okay now you're ready the water and of course you have to protect your furniture and your floor and everything so you won't mess it up always clean so that you have less to clean right after and then where you put your paint and the little brushes now we have three brushes or we can only have two if you want but I sometimes use the third one and here we go our canvas with the background already painted and I put some drawing so that for the sake of, of my teaching and we're ready you can use a an easel or we can go and paint over there by the table where we protect the table and the cloth with plastic or whatever as long as the mess is just right there and we don't have to clean up all our surroundings get it so now we are going to paint that and with the trays I just started and then dip into the water dab into the paper and dip your brush here in the paint and then start so I did this actually you do maybe a second or third coat to let the white paint color come out and well 
I do it slowly so I don't go over or outside of the line that I did and I have to watch with my time too because I only have to do something like 13 minutes max of the videos because I still have to learn how to do an extended time videos I haven't done that yet and I'm tracing my I'm painting over the traces of my drawing in order for me to have after this I can paint really like not being careful but just make sure to paint inside what I have uh, traced over maybe you get the idea okay water dab in the paper and then dab in and then paint put paint and a brush and paint over here in the canvas where you have the trace okay it's okay you don't don't be afraid of making mistake okay I remember at one time that they said that painting is a, a, process, a process of correcting something. So don't worry about making mistakes. I'm going to teach you how to correct that mistake later on. And if you can just be interactive with me, please, I mean, YouTube likes it. You write down your questions you you know you ask you ask me questions or you give me suggestions or whatever you can thank me for doing this because it's not really easy you guys this is not easy <laughs> um, but that's okay I'm, I'm going to do this in the long run maybe I'll get compensated later you know but for now, I'm just having fun. It's not easy, but I love it. So, I'll just keep doing it. But it's messy to teach. I'd rather do it on my own painting. <laughs> and, you know, you have to prepare the light things, the camera, the video. Oh, sometimes I need, you know, to put on my makeup because I don't want to if I have some you know if I do my coaching you know the self enrichment I would you know put on some makeup and dress a little so that I would look good you know I can practice the preach you know walk walk the talk and so here it is our first petal so actually look it's it's kind of bluish so I, we need another more coating but we don't put another coating the worst enemy you can have in painting is having a wet canvas so just let it dry go on to the next one enjoy the ride have fun it's not a contest you are not graded nobody's gonna that's why this is a nice way to learn painting because you're in inside the boundaries of your home no one's gonna criticize you except yourself so just be easy on yourself do not criticize yourself because no one's perfect and good luck with that if you want to be perfect there's no such thing as perfect painting nothing even the most successful artist says that so i'm gonna follow what they say and and learn from them i learned from other artists too the senior artist so i you know i put my paper my brush there and then dab it in the paper and then get a paint okay 
also I learned a lot from the senior artists here in San Antonio and some others that have you know I have attended um, lessons from I mean you know you have to be what do you call that humble to to admit that we need somebody to you know teach us because we don't not everybody knows or no one probably knows everything the best way to say it if if they say they know everything then I don't know maybe they're not they're supernatural <laughs> best so here we are I'm not minding if I go over the, my traces my drawing it does I don't care okay even that is not finished yet and I am going to um, to do that with you to finish it but I just wanted to here we go again and that one I just wanted to let to share with you this process here so that so I make a big flower because of we, you know, from little kids, we start to learn our kinetics. First from bigger objects down to the smaller ones. So this is just the way I, I share with you and I, this is just the way I teach. I include the psychology of it because it's the same thing as learning as the babies learn but i don't think other uh, professional artists would argue me with this kind of of teaching because each artist are different you know we all have our own unique techniques that we cannot say the other one is wrong and the other one is wrong and the other one and i am right so everyone have their own technique because we are all unique and we have our own uh, process way of doing things so here we go so how many minutes oh my god it's already eight minutes I'm gonna uh, do the rest and then I'm gonna continue okay so it's already I already have a few minutes in the previous one And this is all for now thank you for watching i hope you were having fun we're going we'll go to the next video and um, finish the painting and to the last um, of it and then we will be successful we have one painting done in our name because you're gonna sign it so don't forget to um subscribe at the same time check my book at um, amazon and Barnes & Noble's online, a title A Glimpse of Eden by Teresa Laurenti, and visit my website, www.teresalaurenti.com. Subscribe, okay, and share it with your friends. Hit like and comment.